Joseph, favored son of Israel. The road to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the Law and the Prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! Joseph! Greetings, Bible nerds. It is I, artsy Bible nerd. Joseph. When, left, we, when last we left our hero, he had been sitting next to the fire by his father and his brothers. He got a snarky remark from Simeon, and Simeon got a clap back from, uh, from Israel. We have Benjamin and uh, an unnamed brother, in the same shot. Joseph was about to be drawn in. Will all of Joseph's head be drawn in in this episode during the stream? Tune in to find out. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. You are very welcome. Let me know if you need any other help. I'll let you know. Please do. Okay, so... Uh, uh, I'm gonna, uh, here's my plan for today. My plan is, uh, I'm working on Joseph's head in panel number three. Also, I think I have to rearrange, uh, these people in, uh, panel number four. Uh, it does make a nice, a nice, uh, composition with Joseph's head in front and, uh, the head's getting uh, from lower to upper. But uh, I think we should... Uh, I think that Israel should be on his left and everybody else uh, following suit. Uh, so, anyway, let's start with one panel at a time, shall we? Uh, I think I'm going to change this hat. Also... Should I tell you now? I think I should tell you now. Maybe I should tell you now. Um, something happened artistically that I did not expect to happen over the weekend. Uh, I just put some things together and uh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you know, I've been drawing pictures for a long time. I've been drawing uh, things for a long time. It's not often that I get excited about an image that I created, and, you know, it's, I don't know why I get excited about th something that I have created, like, I didn't expect it to look the way that it did after, uh, you know, those of you who are artists may be understanding what I'm saying here, but I have an idea of what I want to happen in, uh, in a composition, but when it looks better on paper than I actually imagined it in my brain, I get very, very excited. So without any further ado, um, I started working on this. This is, let me show you 
this version without the borders. There we go. So I started, uh, I have a bunch of scans of some uh, sketchbook drawings, and I just combined them. I just wanted the uh, some Old Testament images behind uh, the, the image of Jesus, and it all came together. The I don't know why I didn't think of the, the comic borders before I put them on paper, but or put them on digital on Photoshop. And uh, also, this is my work uh, a few years ago. So I ha my work has evolved since then. So instead of making it look like this, this is the inks that I have put on so far. So this is uh, with reference, with Bridgman reference, and uh, the neck is referenced, that is, the, the chest has not been referenced, has not been, I didn't look at the, the chest from a book. Uh, that piece of wood is a, a live edge slab of pine that I found on the internet. Don't have his face sketched in yet, um, but I'm very excited very excited, very excited. Have I mentioned how excited I am? I'm very excited for uh, this this drawing. So this is what I'm going to be doing in between, uh, you know, when when nothing is going on, <laughs> when I'm waiting for stuff to happen, and uh, when I'm waiting for uh, you know the cable guy to show up, or I'm waiting for uh, my somebody to get out of the bathroom, waiting for my son to clean up his, his toys from the floor, I'll be working on this. So, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of waking, waiting over the weekend. So, uh, this, I'm thinking, may become a t-shirt, may become some kind of merch, some type of uh, something that people can buy and, uh, you know, advertise Artsy Bible Nerd on their shirt, on their person. So, we shall see. We shall see. And I'm very, 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 uh, very excited for what this may become. So, a lot of these drawings are going to have to change. Uh, Moses is going to be a different Moses, a different drawing of Moses. Uh, this collar, I was not really uh, sure of what people wore back then. That is a modern-looking Middle Eastern collar. Uh, let's see, that's just a filler. <laughs> Some of these are just fillers. Uh, you know, Samson needs a floor under him. He's suspended in space right now. He needs a shadow under his feet. Uh... Obviously, that scripture is going to be erased. There is a scripture. Uh, let's see. If I erase the borders, you can see the scripture. For I resolve to know nothing before... Uh, no, excuse me. For I resolve to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2, 2. So there you go. That's what I've been working on. Uh... That's me gushing about myself. So, so uh, let's get back to the book, shall we? I think I'm going to change this hat. I think this, first of all, let's use black, shall we?
I'm gonna make this. A bigger circle, oval. But now it makes it look like he's got a flatter cap. Shout out to Flat Cap Dapper Pastor. And so Israel has to be erased a little bit, a little bit. Because his hair is in front of dear old dad. erase or not to erase too much. Let's try that again. So I believe I'm going to be changing my schedule, my streaming schedule again. Uh, not that much different this time. It's not going to be from morning to evening or evening to morning. Uh, it's just going to be an hour earlier on some days. Uh, I'm still getting a hang of uh, what my streaming schedule is going to be because... And if you're wondering, my job has not started yet. They're still working on the onboarding process. I'm still waiting for a call to show up to the job. They, I have gotten the job. I do have the offer. I just have to wait for everything to be official before I actually show up. Uh, for those of you who have not been following the days of the days of my life, the days of my lives. Um, so uh, I showed up to this job that I got because I was told to go there. Recruiter said, show up on the 30th. I showed up on the 30th and they said, oh, we were not expecting you until two weeks from now. It has been two weeks, um, so today is the 18th, and I was there on the 30th. We'll have to find what is going on. Find out what is going on. What's going on? Ooh. 
What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know why some days I feel more tentative about drawing than others. Like, I've never done this before. Like, I've never... Like, I don't have... The experience that I do, that I have had. Past performance is no guarantee of future success, is the thing that I'm thinking of right now. When you're an artist, you can, you know, you can put things up on your wall and, and say, yes, I, I did that, but that doesn't mean you're going to do it well <laughs> this time. That doesn't mean this time is going to be a good drawing. Uh, by the way, I want to thank some people. I want to thank Frosty9 for following me. Thank you very much. That was yesterday. And also the Kit Kat break followed two days ago. Thank you very much for that. So I've created some emotes. You may notice if you go to uh, the channel rewards area there are some emotes uh, available for subscribers there is not any free emotes there are no free emotes available and that is because uh, Twitter I'm just kidding, twitch will not allow me to make any uh, emotes for for free for only for followers only until I get at least 15 subscriber points what do I have right now I have three subscriber points they can't be right I think that's only for this month
pretty sure I have more than that, but as of this month, it's only three. <clears throat> gonna make all this black. It's gonna make a high contrast because he's very close to the fire. I'm gonna hydrate a little bit. All right, so because of the proximity to the fire, I think he's gonna be, this is completely black. The top of this, gonna be black. I see a red door and I wanna paint it black.
Ah, uh, you know what? I made a mistake. Oop, that is not what I want. So in case you're wondering what day today is, I'm wondering that as well because my watch has stopped. Most of you tell time by your phone. I, because I'm a fossil, I still have a watch that runs by a battery. One day, eight o'clock never came and never left. So now the clock is right only two times a day. 8 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. All right, today is July... No, it's not the 17th. July is Monday, July 18th. It is Hug Your Kids Day. Oh, good. I'm glad I did that at least once today. Maybe not the teenager. She's too old for that. She doesn't need a hug from dad. My 12-year-old, though, is still not too old for hugs. Still not too old. Is that a sentence? Is that a correct sentence?
So this is going to be the short stream this on Mondays. Only going to be from 10.30 till 12 midnight. I have had quite a day. My wife was uh, not... not able to do her parenting, her parenting duties as much today as in the past, as regular. So it was dad's day. My son is very active, let's just say that. And requires much attention. So I did the parenting and some dishes and made the dinner. I'm not afraid to do those things. I almost made some cookies. As a matter of fact, so the reason I made cookies, uh, I have made cookies last week because chocolate chip cookies are a staple in our household. Like, you would not believe the importance of the chocolate chip cookies. If we run out of the chocolate chip cookies from, from our local grocery store, uh, a, has, a run has to be made. Have to go get more cookies. Must have those chocolate chip cookies. Uh, but our store, for whatever reason, unknown to us, they have changed the recipe. So it's either a different baker, a different person in charge of the bakery, uh, or a different recipe, or, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're lacking some of the ingredients that they usually have, usually use to make the cookies that they do, that they do, whatever the reason, something's not right with the cookies anymore. So... It's cheaper to just get some uh, Duncan Hines batter, or mix, or whatever you call it, and make our own. Last time I was not aware that we did not have real butter. We All we had was margarine in the refrigerator. Because we are not usually butter-eating people. But for baking, butter is essential. So the cookies were fine, but they could have been better if I had only used butter instead of... So this time we'll see what they are like with butter instead of margarine. Trying to lower my cholesterol. The whole house, the whole family is trying to lower all of our cholesterol.
All right, so now what's gonna happen if I replace these hairs that I erased? I think the back of the ear is all going to be blacked out. And behind the ear is going to be blacked out. That's a shadow. All right, all we need are some shoulders for Israel's body. Let's work on that, shall we? Let's see. Also, before I forget, let's cast a shadow from Joseph's head right around here. Casting a shadow. Most shadows don't have outlines. Let's have to remember the texture of the shoulder. Now let's do some hatching. <coughs> let's do some hydrating.
All right, let's see what happens with that. Um, what happens if... So I've done more work than I expected to do already. That's usually not a bad problem. Except for the fact that I don't have anything to help me out with these heads. Oops. Let's do some shoulders. Let's, like I was saying, let's do some shoulders. Um, tell you what, I hear my 12 year old coughing. I think I have to medicate him. So I'm going to show you a video and I'll be back. Joseph, favored son of Israel. The road to That's not the video I was talking about. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples. Section 4 of the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Winfred Henson. www.lifebylistening.org. The World English Bible. Genesis. Chapters 36 through 46. Chapter 37. Joseph's Dreams. Jacob lived in the land of his father's travels, in the land of Canaan. This is the history of the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. He was a boy with the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives. Joseph brought an evil report of them to their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. His brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, and they hated him and couldn't speak peaceably to him. Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him all the more. He said to them, Please, hear this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and behold, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves came around, and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers said to him, Will you indeed reign over us? Or will you indeed have dominion over us? They hated him all the more for his dreams and for his words. He dreamed yet another dream and told it to his brothers and said, Behold, I have dreamed yet another dream. And behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars bowed down to me. He told it to his father and to his brothers. His father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Will I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow ourselves down to you to the earth? His brothers envied him, but his father kept this saying in mind. Joseph sold by his brothers. His brothers went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. 
Israel said to Joseph, Aren't your brothers feeding the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send you to them. He said to him, Here I am. He said to him, Go now, see whether it is well with your brothers, and well with the flock, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the valley of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. A certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. The man asked him, What are you looking for? He said, I am looking for my brothers. Tell me, please, where they are feeding the flock. The man said, They have left here, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dothan. They saw him afar off, and before he came near to them, they conspired against him to kill him. They said one to another, Behold, this dreamer comes. Come now, therefore, and let's kill him and cast him into one of the pits, and we will say an evil animal has devoured him. We will see what will become of his dreams. Reuben heard it and delivered him out of their hand, and said, Let's not take his life. Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Throw him into this pit that is in the wilderness, but lay no hand on him, that he might deliver him out of their hand, to restore him to his father. It happened, when Joseph came to his brothers, that they stripped Joseph of his coat, the coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him, and threw him into the pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. They sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites was coming from Gilead, with their camels bearing spices and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come! And let's sell him to the Ishmaelites, and not let our hand be on him, for he is our brother, our flesh. His brothers listened to him. Midianites who were merchants passed by, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. They brought Joseph into Egypt. Reuben returned to the pit, and saw that Joseph wasn't in the pit, and he tore his clothes. He returned to his brothers and said, The child is no more, and I, where will I go? Jacob mourns Joseph. They took Joseph's coat and killed a male goat and dipped the coat in the blood. They took the coat of many colors and they brought it to their father and said, We have found this. Examine it now, whether it is your son's coat or not. He recognized it and said, It is my son's coat. An evil animal has devoured him. Joseph is without doubt torn in pieces. Jacob tore his clothes and put sackcloth on his waist and mourned for his son many days. All his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. He said, For I will go down to Sheol to my son, mourning. His father wept for him. The Midianites sold him into Egypt to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's, the captain of the guard. Okay, Joseph. I am back. We were in the middle of Maybe I should have done this before I drew just head. Sorry for that interruption. I had to, uh, my son gets these 
I don't know what to call him. I'm not a doctor. Uh, he starts coughing at night, uh, which means that I have to give him something. All right, all you have to know about this shoulder, all you have to know about this arm is the shoulder and there's supposedly a bicep there. And there's supposedly a tricep behind that. probably only going to be blacked out anyway because it's a night scene. They're so close to this fire. And now we need the stick. The holy stick. All right, I have to remember, as always, where the light is coming from. It's in front of Israel's face. And where it is not hitting, it's definitely not the left side of the stick. All right, so Israel needs a robe. He is currently not wearing any clothing at the moment. And then I have to check which side his sash is coming from, this shoulder. All right, let's get some neck muscles working there. All right, now we got some shoulder. Got a little bit of shoulder.
All right, these lines are a little too straight, so I'm going to rough them up a little bit. Do some squiggling, scribbling. And we're hatching. Let's see what else makes this day special. Hug your kids day. Uh, today's insurance nerd day. So happy day flow. Congratulations on your insurance nerd day. Flow and all your peeps in those white aprons as if you're baking insurance. Maybe you're painting insurance. Maybe there's paint painters bibs. Not really sure what you're doing with those bibs and aprons. I myself am a customer of Flo's company, so maybe I shouldn't say this too much too loud. I think that needs to be a bigger marker, a little bit bigger. Oh my, no wonder.
All right, let's see what that robe looks like on that shoulder. Could be worse. Could always be worse. I think that needs to be smaller. Let's make it a 12. We need an Adam's apple. Where did I put my Bridgman book? I had it here a second ago. Here it is. Exactly where it's not supposed to be. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's do that again.
Let's make all of this dark. All right, I like it. I think I like it. Let's see again what day it is. Today is the 18th of July, which is ooh caviar day i don't think i can afford to celebrate caviar day maybe if i go back to the the, the creek out back and catch me a fish hopefully it's pregnant All right, so I'm going to move this head over here. Deselect, and I'm going to turn on this layer. Let's just erase everything, shall we? Let's draw a guideline from what we have here. And we're going to erase all these heads. We don't need you no more. There we go. There we go. I think that's it. I think that's what I want. That's what I want.
Oh my, that is one big marker. Let's tone that down a little bit. Let's work on this for a while. Uh, that is a little too dark on that side. That is a little too big for that eraser.
Hatching, hatching, hatching. All right, so I don't know what I did to frighten away all the viewers and all the chatters today. As we've seen, today is not a real holiday. Today is Hug Your Kids Day. That, that really should be a real holiday, but other than that, it is a weekday. All right, let's see what is special about today. What else is special about today? Not only is it Hug Your Kids Day, National Insurance Nerd Day, Caviar Day, it is also Get Out of the Doghouse Day. <laughs> so I'm supposed to live in the doghouse for the rest of the 364 days of the year? I'm not sure. Uh... It's also Sour Candy Day. It is also Nelson Mandela International Day. Why wasn't that first on the list? That sounds pretty important. He was an important guy. Perfect Family Day? <laughs> there are no perfect humans, especially no perfect groups of humans. Listening Day. I'm Fraser Crane, and I'm listening. All right, so I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to wrap up the stream right about here. It is 11.57 on the East Coast. 
So things that I've done, here's the things that we've gotten done. We got that, uh, we got Joseph drawn in that panel. Uh, he's, we got Israel's shoulder and his neck and his stick and uh, started on the Ezra, uh, Israel in fourth panel. Uh, started on his head, moved some things around in this panel. So things are coming along. Uh, don't forget to take a look at uh, the new emotes that uh, I've created. And uh, remember that none of them are free until I get 15 subs. So not that I'm twisting your arm or anything. Dot, dot, dot. I'll just leave it there. All right, so uh, I am gonna, let's find somebody to raid, shall we? Shall we? Let's who, see who is available that I know. Warrior of Light is available. They're playing Sea of Thieves. Kennethan. I haven't seen him in a long time. Let's go to Kennethan. Let's go see Kennethan. World of Warcraft. That's a blast from the past. Haven't seen that in a long time. All right, thank you very much for for watching. Thank you for the VOD watchers in the future. Uh, I will be here tomorrow at not 10 o'clock, but 9 o'clock. We're shooting for 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, may the Lord be with you. Peace.